Hello again, System Restore UK here for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. Once again, in this video we're going to be looking at the Emperor ETR1, which is one of the new vehicles from, from the Cunning Stunts DLC for GTA 5 Online. So, usual bits and bobs with this one. Straight online, travel and transport. I think you know the, the program now. And Legendary Motorsport, and there it is. One Emperor ETR1, $1,995,000. So, as you can see, it looks like a proper race car. Um, got two different sets of liveries here. You've got the dense livery and the Kronos livery. Let's have a quick look at those. Oh, not too bad. They're a bit... They look pretty much the same, really. With the, the sort of paintwork over the arches, etc. I think we're probably going to go with a Kronos one. I think we can probably do a little bit more with that. But hey-ho, we've got a little bit of money. So, if we change our mind, fuck it, we will do it. Let's order it. Let's get it delivered. There it comes, and let's go and have a look at it in the garage. Well, there it is. One Emperor ETR1. Not a bad looking car, actually. That's not a bad looking car at all. Obviously, it's a race car, so it looks quick. It's probably bound to be very quick. I love the style of this thing. It looks like a proper, I don't know, like a touring car. For those of you uh, Americans out there that don't know what a touring car is, it's just basically a car with big, wide arches that goes around the track very fast. Uh, probably uh, a NASCAR with more tactics, I think. Okay, let's have a quick look inside it. Cool, that sounds like an animal. Yeah. Okay, oh, you can see little switches, carbon fiber, it's got roll bars, blah, 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 blah. We're not interested in the inside, we just want to see what we can do with it. So, let's take a Los Santos Customs. The fuck all wrong with this, mate. What I want you to do is make it look Gucci. Okay, so 20 categories, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, so you're going to be able to do a, a few bits and bobs with this. Hopefully uh, Rockstar are going to surprise us with a, a few nice little uh, additions and modifications for the car. In the meantime, we're going to go through the usual basic boring shit, which is armour, 100%. We'll go with the race brakes at just short of 30 grand. Okay, okay now bumpers, so front bumper. There's a couple of options there. So you've got racing canards, so the little, little slats at the side, and then canards with an intercooler. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll have the canards with the intercooler. Just looks a bit more, a bit more aggressive, I think. Rear bumper. Oh my god, I've seen it all now. Four thousand six hundred dollars for a fucking tow hook. Are you serious? That's a beauty right there. What a beautiful tow hook. Rock. Rockstar, you should be ashamed. That's fucking terrible. Okay, EMS upgrade level four, 28 and a half grand nearly. So we'll have that. As you can see, everything's on offer at the minute. So we've got a bit of money off, which is always nice. Exhaust, so normal and titanium. Titanium one sticks out a little bit more angled backwards. And it's obviously got the purpley blue color at the end of the, uh, of the pipes. So, oh, it's only on one side. Explosives, don't be stupid. Hood. So what can we do with the hood on this thing? So we go normal, or we can go carbon. Hmm. Do you know what? I think with these cars that have got liveries on, the minute you shove a carbon fibre hood on it, I think it looks stupid. Because everything else is all sort of gooched up with, you know, with vinyl and, and, and liveries. And just, you just end up getting a grey mass in the middle of it, and it just looks fucking stupid. So we'll keep the liveries. You see with the headlights, we just spent seven and a half grand there on some Xenons. Going to do the usual neon layout there, front, back, and sides for thirty thousand bucks. Okay. Next on the list, we've got the liveries, so we're going to have a look through and see which ones are available. So we know which ones they are. We've got the dense livery and the Chronos livery. So or none. I don't know. It's, yeah, it doesn't look too bad without the liveries on actually. But we'll have a play around with those. Lost them. We own the cars. So we don't need that. Right. Mirrors. Okay, colour coded mirrors, seven hundred dollars. Carbon mirrors, eleven fifty, and custom mirrors is sixteen hundred. Those custom ones, they look tiny, don't they? I'm not sure whether I can uh, justify spending sixteen hundred quid on something you can't see. But uh, oh, I don't know actually. We'll put we'll put them on anyway. Fuck it, we can always change them. We're not breaking the bank. Number plate, we're going to go yellow and black. No system restore UK plates on this one. 
Yeah, we used them all up. And right, well, category 14, respray, we'll deal with that in a minute. We're not going to sell it. Spoiler, okay, really? You can upgrade that spoiler? Okay, so you can take the spoiler off for seven grand. That looks shit. Low level spoiler, 10 grand. Drift wing, 13 grand. And GT wing is 14 grand. So you can see from the stock one and the GT one, they're pretty much the same thing, but the GT one is obviously coloured and it's obviously got the uh, the livery option You've on it as well. Taste. So we will have that at 14 grand, methinks. Next on the list is the transmission. So 40 grand for your race transmission. Always worth doing. It's an expensive extra, I know, but... Oh, yes. Might as well get them done. Might as well get everything done. Turbo tuning, 42,500. It's nice to see that on offer as well. There, that should give you a boost. Mm, very good. Okay, now we've got the wheels, which we'll come back to. And finally, the windows. So, window tint, light smoke, dark smoke pen, limo. I think the limo tint is the way forward, as we normally do, for $5,000. There you go. That's all the options on the Emperor ETR one. Um, there's some decent ones in there. Um, the, the tow hook's fucking embarrassing. Really. Uh, you couldn't think of any better than just to put fucking tow hook with a stupid price on it. But there you go. That's all the, that's all the uh, options that are available. We're going to have a play around with it. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can come up with once again. Oh yeah. Now, as you can see, we took all the livery off. We took the liveries off and we put some nice big old fuck off sports wheels on it. Put a secondary colour of white just to sort of emphasise, I think, the insides and the skirts. And do you know what? I think that looks fucking awesome. That looks like a really, really, really nice car. Looks a little bit like a Supra. But let's see how, let's see how this bad boy drives. Looks all good. Looks okay. Let's see if this thing motors and, and goes like it looks. Oh, it goes. Oh, it goes all right. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's... This thing ain't bad, you know. It's a bit fucking... <laughs> you can see from the steering, I'm not the best driver in the world, but I'm certainly not the worst when it comes to GTA driving. This thing loves to the back end being a bit twitchy. Very direct. Okay, well, you can see... The options, we've got the uh, the wheel changes, we've taken the liveries off, we've upgraded the spoiler, we've put the neons on. Yeah. That, do you know what, that's not bad. I, whether it's going to be a car that I'm going to drive, let's be honest, I don't know. And, oh, you can't I'm able to connect the Rockstar game services, what a surprise. Um, is this going to be a car I'm going to buy? Uh, or I should recommend buying, I should say. Um, I don't know actually because from some of the other cars that are out this thing yeah it's okay it's good but I don't think anybody's ever going to drive this and for the cost of this car which is nearly two million quid I would probably say my little tip is don't bother unless you want it for I don't know getting your mates in the garage and have a look around once every fucking four months to just show off what you've got I don't think you're ever going to drive this car um, because it's too sort of mid-category, it's nothing mind-blowing. But hey-ho, that's my opinion. You've seen all the options, etc., for the Emperor ETR1. Hit the like button if you like what you've seen, and if you want to see some more videos, hit the subscription button. This has been, once again, System Restore UK for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. Now we are signing out.